Hey everybody, Patton here, welcome back to the channel. So I had a couple questions from people asking how to play Sega CD games on the PlayStation Classic, so that's what this video is gonna cover today. So let's go over everything you need right here. You will need Auto Blame, the newest version right now is 0.6.0b2, and Retro Boot, the newest release is 0.8b. You'll need your game files, today we're working with Bram Stoker's Dracula and Final Fight CD, and you will need BIOS files. The three BIOS files you need are BIOS underscore CD underscore E dot bin J and U. The first step we have to do is prep our flash drive. So this is the one we're using right here. We're going to right click it and select format. We're going to make sure FAT32 is selected. We're going to change the volume label to Sony all capitals. Make sure that quick format is checked right here then hit start. You may have some difficulty formatting your drive if it is a larger drive. I'll put a program in the description you can use to get that done. So once your drive is formatted and labeled correctly, all we have to do is start dragging files. If we go into our auto bleam folder, you'll see four folders right here. Highlight all of them, copy, go back to your flash drive, and paste. Okay, looks like that's all done. Now we have to go to the retro boot folder. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna highlight all three of these folders, right click and copy, back to our flash drive. We're gonna paste that on the root. All right, when it's done, you should get this notification asking to replace a file. Make sure that you do replace that file. That's very important. Our next step is to add the BIOS file. So we're gonna go into the RetroArch folder, down to system. We're gonna highlight all three of our BIOS files, then drag them right into that folder. As for your games, make sure you do not put your games in the games folder. This is only for PS1 games you're gonna be running through AutoBling. Instead, go down to this ROMs folder, and I like to create a folder for each system that I'm using. Since this is Sega CD, I'm gonna right click, go to new, and make a new folder. I'll name it SCD. And in this folder is where I'm going to put my games. So you can see here that Bram Stoker's Dracula is in ISO and MP3 format. Final Fight is in bin Q format. You may find different formats of your games depending on how the person ripped them. So once again, we're gonna highlight all the files, right click, copy, and we're gonna paste both of them into that SCD folder. All right, it looks like everything got copied over. I'm going to close that. Now we just have to safely remove the USB drive from our PC, plug it into the PlayStation Classic and boot it up. All right, it looks like it started up just fine. You'll see at the bottom, it's going to import the internal games first. So those are the games that are on the PlayStation Classic itself, just adding those to the auto bleam menu. We're not gonna do anything with that in this tutorial. When it's done, you'll get the notification at the bottom says games changed, press X to scan. So now it's going to scan the USB drive for any additional PlayStation 1 games we've added. It didn't find any, so now this is the main auto blame menu. To get into RetroArch, you can see here, just hit the square button on the PlayStation controller. All right, so here's the RetroArch menu. Yours may look a little bit different from mine. I'm using the Ozone theme. So the first thing we want to do is go down to Import Content. I'm going to scan directory, and we're going to go into the folder where we placed our second CD games, which is right here, SCD. Once we're in that folder, just hit Scan This Directory. Depending on how many games you added, this could take a while, but there is a notification bar at the bottom letting you know how far along the process is. While this is scanning the games, I should tell you that if you're using a slow drive, it can affect game performance with FMVs, especially on Sega CD games. Any kind of disc games will kind of have some lossless in performance if your flash drive isn't fast enough. So you may see some skipping and things like that. That's no fault of the emulator or auto bleam or retro boot. It's more than likely because you're using a slow flash drive. So it looks like the scan is complete. Let's back out into our playlist right here. So here is our Mega CD Sega CD playlist. You can see it only scanned one of the games. Remember that Final Fight City was in bin Q format and Dracula was in ISO format. So it looks like it didn't find Dracula and that's expected. Sometimes the scanner won't find all your games. If that's the case, you can add it to your playlist manually or you can play it manually by going to main menu, load content, and then you just have to navigate to where you keep the games. It was in media, ROMs, Sega CD, and then you would just select the ISO right here. So while we're here, let's start up Bram Stoker's Dracula. I'm gonna hit X, and now here you can select what core to use. The two cores that run Sega CD games are Genesis Plus GX and Pico Drive. So like I mentioned before, this game crashes with Pico Drive, so we're gonna start it up with Genesis Plus GX. Okay, we got the Sega CD logo. There's Sonic. All right, finally, let's hit start to get into the game. I think more cutscenes, but you can see the cutscenes are playing. Actually, on this next screen, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be saying something, and he's not. So, 
it looks like maybe we are having some sound issues. And I actually did talk to BS Linol earlier. He said that he thinks Genesis Plus GX doesn't recognize MP3 files, which makes sense because I know this is supposed to be narrated right now and it's not. So you may run into some issues with the ISO MP3 type of games. But all the sounds in game seem to work fine. That dude did a wicked kick when we first started the level. How come we, I can't kick like that now? I can do this weird kick. One of those. Oh, there we go. That's test some stuff out. Was that a bat or a bird? Well, there's a bat. Oh, he's he's on me. Not great. Oh, no. No jump jump attack. Oh, what is this guy? Hold on. Just quick. Just there we go. I've never played this game before ever, but uh, oh, geez. Oh, I see something spikes. Or is that a bear trap? It looks like a bear trap. Okay, just jump it. Got it. Made it past the bear trap. Okay. Oh, the ducking bats. Here we go. Now we're, what is that thing? When they die, it sounds like an enemy from, like, Donkey Kong Country. Like, if you were to kill them. This is supposed to be a scary game, right? Man, that wind is howling. That is really, uh... Oh, now we do have birds. Okay. Oh, we died by the bear trap. Oh, but we can come right back. Oh, that's cool. Are we Dracula? We're not playing as Dracula, right? I've never played this game. I don't know. I don't know how this works. All right, that's enough fun with uh, Dracula. Let's close content. We're going to go back to the playlist that we created and take a look at Final Fight CD, another game I have never played before. Um, so here we have the option to run, and once again, we're going to have to select what core we're going to use. We're going to use the KM Genesis Plus GX one more time. Oh, let's go with Cody. I like Cody. I liked him in Street Fighter Alpha 3. I thought he was a, a good fighter. And I have not played this version before, but the music sounds really good. I'm gonna use the phone real quick. Oop. I'm gonna grab that burger off the ground. That's how you do it. Oh, I'll take the gold off the ground, though. I mean, if we're gonna grab a burger off the ground, we better be getting that gold, too. Um, what's going on here? There we go. Just a quick kick to the face. You guys are really getting in my way. Oh, somebody had a knife. I'll just take that for safety. Grab the knives for safety. Oh, never mind. We're gonna throw it away. I think Cody got to use Oliver. Oliver. Oh, we threw Oliver. Didn't Cody get a knife in Street Fighter? I think he did. 2P, like two player. These names, I always love the names in these beat em ups. They're so funny. All right, Bill Bull, took care of him. What's in the barrel? We'll never find out. We just had to throw that pipe and bust through. It could have been a door. We probably could have opened that up, but you know, Cody doesn't have time to open doors. We have to get that meat. There we go. All right, so let's take care of Axel. Kind of looks like the same Axel from Guilty Gear a little bit. All right, I'm having too much fun with Final Fight CD. I had to stop. All right, so that's it. How to play Sega CD games on your PlayStation Classic with AutoBleam and Retroboot. Super easy. If you guys have any issues, I will leave the AutoBleam Discord in my description where you can go there for troubleshooting or to ask questions. And that's all I got. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.